Hola, hola, familia. What's up? How are you all doing? Just checking in that everything's flowing correctly here. You know when you jump in, can't wait to start this live transmission with you all. starting very soon please let us know where you're tuning in from where are you connecting let me know if you are watching a replay remember there's no time or space so welcome we are going deep together a lot of a lot of goodies for you guys today the most important one is that we are sharing this space together. We're sharing energy. We're supporting each other. We're here for each other. So please feel free to participate, to be part of the chat. I see many people coming through. Sandra, Daria, many people coming through from all over the world. Romania, UK. It's usually a, a global circle we do here. Daniel Karata. Beautiful, Daria, Jerry, yeah, Anael, Bibi. <laughs> we got all the family here coming through, guys. And if you're new to the family, welcome anyway. We're thriving here together. We are supporting each other. This uh, channel, it looks like it's Juanpa's fan page, but it's really a, pay, a, a place where we unite. It's a place for community. So uh, this is where we, from here, we go to many different places. We, will, we go deeper and get to know each other much more. But this is a place where we get to play and uh, co-create and uh, be part of this beautiful miracle called life together. Monica, Ross, yeah, um, Serena, Natalie, Elena, Christine. Adam, Jerry, beautiful, beautiful family tuning in from all over the world. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Margaret, Heather, Donata, mm. Maria Elizabeth. Mm. So beautiful. Love you all, guys. Thank you so much. And um, I know you have been asking me to do this for a long time. Many of you since COVID started. And... Um, this has been a great time for reflection for me to stop everything and give priority and everything I have accomplished for myself. How can I share it to the world without affecting me and, and what I am doing right now, right? Because I'm in a very intense project. Many of you know I'm, I'm, I'm putting this project together with my wife, with Regan in Costa Rica. It's, it's a very beautiful, huge retreat. Uh, eco residence center um, and it's so much work because we're pouring all our heart into this it's all the energy it's going to this baby so I'm like okay how can I still do that but start sharing all this information that is so important for all of you so I'm taking little time capsules right and using them in the best way I can to share with you and to help you in any way I can because I know it has been very challenging I know many of you you know have gone through one or two challenges but then the third one comes the fourth one the fifth one and you're like oh my god this is never gonna end right when is this gonna end why why does it get so hard why does it get so confusing why do I sometimes feel I don't get it I don't get what's happening in the world I don't get what's truth or what isn't. Some say something, some say other things. What is really going on, right? I think we've all been through that. And today I wanna uh, share with you ways that you can cultivate that, that centeredness, that focus, that earth, that grounding, and also that resilience. I'm gonna talk about resilience because I see many people talking about resilience, but I also see like the wrong concept of resilience being shared with the world almost as a place to like hold on get tough until you go through 
the tunnel, right? And then the light comes up again. But resilience is really building that energy, right? Cultivating that energy for real. Not only, it's not only a mental toughness. It's cultivating the energy at a cellular level. So when challenging times come, you are ready. You don't react. You don't come from fear, from doubt, from, you know, fogginess, procrastination, distraction, all these ways we get lost from our center, from our power, from our leadership. Leadership in our home, leadership with, you know, a partner, leadership in the business, leadership with our health and our lives. Leadership is everything. It's not only being a famous leader and the president of a country. We are all leaders in some way. So are we owning that leadership or are we giving our power away to society, to the news, to what that doctor said or what nutritionist said, which maybe is true and maybe not. I can question everything. I have the capacity to question and to feel what resonates for me, not because of what they said, because they have this or that title, because there is a lot of falseness out there and there is a lot of money behind a lot of decisions. Guys, if you hear a chicken and you hear birds, we have ducks and roosters and chickens and geese and all kinds of animals. So, you, you know, you're in a farm <laughs> with Juanpa in Costa Rica in the jungle. <laughs> so any sounds are welcome. <laughs> the birds, I'm in the studio, but you hear the birds everywhere, the monkeys, the toucans, like it's really crazy. Like uh, the insects sometimes get so loud. And now we have a rooster out here at the door. <laughs> oh my God, I love jungle life so much. So. Yeah, guys, how can we build that from within so we don't have to be strong, you know? It's not about being strong in the moment. It's not about being strong when the difficulty comes, when the challenge comes. You're cooked. If the challenge comes and your nervous system is not ready, at a cellular level, you're not ready. Your mitochondria, which is the nucleus of the cell, is not ready. If your mitochondria is in dysfunction because of all the stress you have received, since you were in your mother's, mother's womb. If you haven't reset your mitochondria, if you haven't reset your nervous system, you can build as much mental resilience as you want, but your body is gonna be disconnected from your mind. So you can be like, yes, I'm strong. Yes, I'll do it, you know, like warrior it up, but you're pushing your nervous system beyond what your nervous system can go. You're pushing your limits. You're, you're using energy that you don't have available. It's like drinking too much coffee. You're telling your body that you have energy that you don't have. And you use it and you start burning out. So the extreme of this is come to a burnout. When you're done, you're cooked. You don't have inspiration. You don't believe in yourself anymore. You don't even have the energy to get out of the bed, right? That's the extreme. But I'm going to talk about all the faces because some of us or most of us, and I, I can say I'm one of, one of them, are somehow in a way to burn out, yeah? Burn down. And we're burning slowly our nervous system. We're burning slowly our brain. Our brain is starting to leak, creating fogginess, creating distraction, creating not being able to focus, not having creative new ideas, not tapping into our intuition. And this is not just a woo-woo thing to meditate more and do more. This is at a physical level, at a cellular level. We got to learn how the nervous system works, what we have done in the past, and how we can heal that. So this resilience comes from within. So it's really a phoenix that is rising through the ashes. For real. We're rising, guys. But built from within, not because we changed strategy, not because we did things differently and now we know how to do things. 
but because we've built that inner strength, that inner power that comes from resetting at a cellular level the way your mitochondria acts with every part of the cell, the way that cell acts with other cells in your body, the way the nervous system acts with the organs, with the brain, especially the amygdala and hypothalamus that have been fully triggered from the past. Yeah? Glands in your brain one after the other. This can happen at five years old. It doesn't need to happen because you've been doing yoga for a year and you don't get stressed anymore. That, that's possible. But have you reset from the past stress that you've done? That's way deeper. And not many people do it. So many people are almost using all these wellness technologies to kind of alleviate the symptoms, but they're not healing the core. We're just kind of calming down, right, the nervous system. But we're not getting to the core. Why I react when someone tells me something I, and I feel so touched. Why when someone tells me something I thought that was going to happen that didn't happen, I feel so stressed and I want to push and hustle to make it happen. And my child maybe it's, has a tantrum and it affects me so much. Why? B because my business is not thriving and, and I feel I'm, 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 I'm not good enough and I can't do it. Why do I react and kind of block myself from my creativity and the inner genius that I am? Why? Because I haven't built that inner resilience. I haven't built the mindset of expansion. My power of being who I really am. I haven't built that, okay? I haven't built the nervous system that can hold a 220 voltage of all this situation system, right? And not reacting. Because when you put a 220 voltage on a 110, you've heard me this a lot, you're gonna burn down the 110, the nervous system. Okay? Are you, are you following me? So what we need to do is upgrade the nervous system, upgrade at a cellular level. When the challenge comes, I'm good. Okay, let me, let me figure this out. Let me take a step, right? Getting this and that you're feeling me, let me know this inspires you. And let's go deeper. Let's go into steps. One, two, three, four, five. Let's go into steps. Guys, let me know if you're pumped. Please, if this moves you, please share it with your tribe. Please share it. Just press peace. It really helps spread this knowledge because many people are lost with so much information. They don't really know. Yes, does it keep crashing for others? Okay. Pump, totally pumped right now. Okay, get ready, guys, because we're just starting here. We're just starting here, yeah? Okay. All right, guys. So let me just, I just, I just want to follow up a little bit on stuff I've written because I, um, I really wanna, want you to get this and to really help you in this moment, okay? Keeps freezing. Yeah, I was receiving a call from my brother, so I just messaged him. That's why it's, it was freezing. I hope it stops because I, I just told him, I'm gonna call you in 30 minutes. He called me like a hundred times. You know, he has some brain, a little bit of brain dysfunctions. And thanks to my brother, I am who I am actually because of his sickness since uh, 40 years ago. So he's still alive and he has the best life ever. He's the happiest being on the planet. But sometimes he gets fixated with something. So I just have 12 lost calls from him calling me while I'm doing the live stream. 
<laughs> Welcome! <laughs> All right, so transforming one challenge into any opportunities. Step number one, guys, cultivate observation. Please write this down. This is an online workshop, right? Okay, so step number one, cultivate observation. Yes, Margaret, he's tapping into our energy too. He's super tapped into that way, okay? So you are very tapped in, Margaret. Thank you for that. I know, that's why, I, you know, I wasn't like, oh man, like, like uh, I actually told him to tap into what's going on right now with 100 people that are online right now. <laughs> okay, so what does that mean to cultivate observation? Cultivate your capacity to Respond, even if you don't know anything about the mitochondria and the nervous system and everything that I talked about, I'm gonna go deeper into that. But the first thing you can do now, you can start right now, is cultivating your capacity to respond instead of react, okay? Cultivate your capacity to respond instead of react. Change that attitude of reacting to responding. Okay, so the moment you receive the news, whatever, the moment somebody talked to you in a way that, oh, it didn't feel right, the moment you express something from your heart to someone and you felt they weren't present for you and you're like, oh, the moment um, you don't have enough money and you're like, oh my God, how am I going to feed my family, right? Okay, it's all the right reasons to be stressed. The difference is we're going to change the reaction of being stressed. And this is done in a chemical way, right? Physical, mental, emotional, energetical, spiritual, all of it, right? But physically, catch the moment when you start getting stressed, okay? So the moment you'll see that almost you're anticipating what's going to happen. This is what happens usually, especially when you're intuitive. Almost you can smell the danger. Something's going on, right? Like, ooh. And your body doesn't recognize if the danger is the boss is kicking your ass and you won't work there anymore, which would be great because then you can become your, or your own boss, right? But in the moment, it's going to like, what am I going to do, right? You can become an entrepreneur. You can become a quantum flow practitioner and share your wisdom with the world. There's so many things you could do, right? But... In the moment, it's scary, right? You're like, oh my God, your nervous system can distinguish if you're being kicked out of a job, right? Or you are being chased, chased by a tiger in the middle of the jungle. For your body, for your nervous system, it's exactly the same thing. That reaction is the same. So if your situation is being chased by a tiger like me here in the jungle, I wouldn't recommend you don't react. Please react as soon as possible. Run to the biggest tree you can see. Don't even think about it, just be. <laughs> Your body knows what to do. <laughs> if you're too far away from the tree, you just freeze and breathe and they won't harm you because usually these animals, if you're breathing and in your center, and they don't sense the fear and you're not running away, they don't even harm you, okay? That's, that's, that's even deeper to go there, all right? But that's okay. But if it's a reaction because of something that's going on and you just instantly reacted, that's the moment when you start training yourself and feeling how your body is sensing the danger. Something's coming. Something's going to happen. You go to work and you're like, I feel weird today. Oh, there's something. Oh, and the boss is kind of weird with me. And there's something there that breathe. Guys, breathe. Once you start feeling a little something, something, your body starts sensing. Doesn't matter that your brain doesn't get it yet. Breathe through your nose. Very sweet, loving breath, expanding your belly. Do it right now with while you're watching, while you're feeling. Your whole body expands when you inhale. And when you exhale, you can even use a sound to really release the tensions in the nervous system and activate the parasympathetic nervous system, which is the rest digest. 
So the sound can be very sweet, soft, and gentle. Inhaling with gratitude and exhaling. Just feel it right now. It just changes the way you live, okay? This is very basic, but if you start training yourself to do that as a lifestyle, the moment the challenge comes, you're going to be in a very different space. You're not going to be like, okay, what am I going to do? Okay, shall I tell the person? Shall I not? Shall I call that person? Shall I tell this, send them a message? Oh no, what am I going to, let me stuff myself with sugar. Let me, let me look for someone to have sex. Let me smoke something. Let me calm this down somehow. Who's been there, guys? I've been there a lot of times. These are all reactions that have been as an instinct to protect ourselves and not feel the pain that we're feeling. Yeah? So the first thing is the breath and the capacity to observe, to take a step back and just be present with what's going on. Okay, interesting. This is what's going on right now. All right. Oh, I'm feeling anxious. Mm, okay, I'm feeling a little doubt. Oh, wow, my heart is palpitating. Whoa, my breath wants to go very fast. Okay, let me breathe deeper. Be the coach. Become your own coach. As if you had someone on the phone telling you, Juanpa, it, it's okay. It's all going to be good. Remember to breathe. Okay, Juanpa, just sit down for a second. Can you stop? Can you just, just be? Can you, can, you, can you just remember that there's always a solution? Can you just remember that it's all going to be okay? Do you remember how many times that, have, that has happened before? And look at you right now. You're okay, right? You're good. Okay, this time is the same. We're going to find a solution. But in order to achieve, to receive, to channel that solution, I am choosing to be in my parasympathetic surrendered feminine nervous system from that space i will be able to respond that doesn't mean like oh okay whatever they just kicked me out of work oh whatever another work is gonna come oh life is so beautiful i'm not saying fake it till you make it guys you feel it right you feel it then like whoa okay Feel it, breathe through it, let it go. Don't get lost in the emotion. And then you start using, this is called the stress response. You start using the stress response as energy to create. Instead of letting the stress response build, and then you create more stories. Oh yes, and now what I'm gonna do with my children, and now what I'm gonna tell my partner, and now what people are gonna say, oh, I'm not good enough, I didn't do it, it's me again, I failed again. That's all story. One thing happens, and instead of opening ourselves to 1,000 opportunities, we create. Our mind is used to, because of one challenge, it creates 10 more challenges that weren't even there, <laughs> right? Who's with me? But your mind is so used to like, okay, worst time ever, we got to protect ourselves, survival mode, Look at the worst case scenario, what could happen right now. That's how your mind is wired to live. Your subconscious mind is here to protect you, okay? So if you don't understand that and you start nurturing that part that's not just reacting from the subconscious mind, but you start gaining that power of observation, you'll be able to see like, oh, okay, thank you, unconscious mind. Okay, now you are, you are... <laughs> you are really protecting me. Thank you for that. Okay? And at the same time, I am letting go of that story. That is just a story. I'm going to be open to the opportunity instead of the challenge. Okay? So it's changing that mindset that, of course, just the mindset is so important. Just the mindset. Okay? But then beyond the mindset 
you go at a physical cellular level, okay? So step number one, you really nurture that capacity to respond. It's a soul gym, you hear me all the time. If it's your first time in the live, you're gonna hear the soul gym a lot because it's not just uh, the work you do, the personal development work. You're, you're really getting to know how to live from your soul or from your highest self or from the highest version of you, or however you wanna call this, right? I'm not, I, I don't wanna get into terms, spiritual terms. You can call it however you want, but it's that highest version of you that's waiting for you to say yes and to act from that space. Not from the space of distraction, not from the space of being all over the place, not from the space of being unfocused, not from the place of, of procrastination and getting lost in old habits and old stories. From the space of resilience, of inner power, from the space of the soul. Once you start learning to live from the soul, you have the stress response, it comes. And you're like, oh, thank you. This is fuel for creation. Mm, I actually savor now when I feel the adrenaline, the cortisol, right? Flowing in my veins. I feel that fire. I feel my breath going a little faster. I feel my heart pumping. That's it. That's the most I get. I don't get into the anxiety. I don't get into the, into the overwhelm. I don't get into the depression and all those other emotions that can carry you away. That doesn't happen to me anymore because I've trained myself no matter what. And I can tell you something. I'm managing right now 600 acres of land, of jungle, of space to build, of doing residencies, of doing my dream world. It's 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 unimaginable what we're creating here, right? It's like heaven on earth. But that takes so much, not only thinking about it, planning it, getting together with so many professionals, but then you plan it in a way, you formulate it in a way, but then reality is not the same. The workers are not gonna act as you want them to work. The engineer, the architect, uh, the machines that are working, we have four machines right now working tractors and, and all those uh, big trucks and all that stuff, moving uh, uh, stuff and creating magic in this, in this land, right? How not to cut trees and do it in a sustainable way. It's art, guys, it's science and art. You know how many times I have the stress response during the day? Like 10, <laughs> at least 10, but it doesn't get me. It's just enough to actually get my mind more clear, more focused, feel more energy, more, more, uh, more expansion. So I open up to creativity. I open up to abundance. I open up to my inner genius in the moment because I have trained myself not to get lost in reaction, not to get lost when my partner says something to me and I, want, I just wanna respond and say, and, and maybe excuse myself. Or when my son says something to me, or when a client tells me something and like, oh, I'm like, oh my God, you're not seeing everything that I'm sharing with you. You're just focusing on that black spot in the piece, white piece of paper. Actually, thank you for telling me that. Thank you for your, for your feedback, I'm gonna look at that and I'm gonna be better and I'm gonna expand it more and I'm gonna make it better. I've trained myself, right? Okay, so this is something you can do with mindset and it's great, it's a great beginning, all right? Are you guys with me? Let me know, let me know that you're with me, you're feeling me, let me know you're feeling the energy we're creating together, I feel you guys very present. The number is very stable there. We're all very present with each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, guys, for manifesting this Vortex together. Thank you for sharing this Facebook Live with your tribe, too, and bringing more people in. The more people we are, the more energy, the more this moves, the more the, the, the information is channeled, you know? That's how this works. So let me know if you're with me. I feel you guys very with me. Salute for that. Yeah, okay, lots of yeses. Gracias, familia. Gracias. We're on this together. You guys are not alone, you see? And once you understand, just with this information I'm sharing with you, I promise you, a challenge will never be the same. I promise you. You don't even have to do anything. You're just receiving the information. You're feeling me, right? You're feeling my passion. You're feeling the energy. Are you feeling the transmission? 
Are you feeling the transmission that's happening right now? Because when you let yourself feel it, and then you go over it, and you think about it, and you see yourself, and like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm like that, like Juanpa is saying, oh, I've been like that, oh, I understand that, and it's not like, oh, yeah, I'm so good, my life is perfect right now, you know, I'm so good at that, I already mastered that, you know? Then you're not seeing your blind spot. You see the difference? Like, always humble, always open, always ready to upgrade, because if not, you're not going to upgrade. You're just going to stay in your wins, which is great, but that's, 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 forever evolving from a gratitude space, yeah? So once you have that attitude, you're gonna let this information in, you will never be the same person, I promise you. So thank you for letting that happen for you and for your family just by being here, just by feeling this and feeling this energy we're creating together. Even if you're watching the replay, thank you. You're here with us, just so you know. So please comment, please be present because we come and look at your comments, just so you know, we're here with you. All right? So guys, number two, okay? I already talked about this. This is very important. Breath, conscious breath. Conscious breath means through the nose, not the mouth. Once you're breathing through the mouth, inhaling through the mouth, you do it in certain breath works, you gotta know what you're doing because you can mess up your nervous system. You gotta know how to use these tools. If not, you mess yourself up. You can feel a lot of energy, but you're just activating your adrenal glands. You're creating a lot of adrenaline for yourself. It feels amazing in the moment, but you're burning yourself down. That happens to a lot of Kundalini people, Kundalini yoga people, um, that they don't understand the science and art like fully of what's going on, especially the ones that are not certified years, certified teachers with years of experience, and they start teaching this and sharing this. And like, even if you're just... Um, um, starting on the on the teachings of, of Kundalini, it takes experience, guys. You gotta live it. It's not just a philosophy, you know. So th that's what I'm talking about. You have embodied it, but in order to do it, you gotta let it in. You gotta all this information let it in, and you gotta understand that the nervous system is there's a science and art to work with the nervous system, and that the the basic too is the breath. So when you're inhaling through the nose, you're calming your nervous system. You're bringing love. You're making your nervous system feel safe. You're making your nervous system feel everything's okay. Why? Because when everything's not okay, you start breathing through your mouth. You need big amounts of air. <sighs> that pumps your nervous system to know there's something going on. <sighs> right? Defense mechanism is out. Flight or fight or freeze. But something needs to happen. I'm reacting. And I have so many chemicals in my body right now, which are actually eating my nervous system if I don't know how to deal with those chemicals, okay? I'm gonna say that again. If I don't know how to deal with those chemicals, even a little, you know, worry about something, and I'm worried and I feel a little bit of stress, that's a chemical that if I don't know how to deal with it and liberate it from my body, it's gonna eat myself up. Why? This is literal. Because it creates acidity. It's the most acidic substance on the planet. Forget about nutrition. You want to talk about nutrition? Okay. Learn to manage your stress response. Because once you've activated the stress, and once your amygdala and your hippocampus, which are the ones that get activated by the stress, they're used to whatever is sensed outside the minimum. Even a little noise you hear outside when you're sleeping, and you're like this. That creates the whole cascade of chemicals, right? And that's because your hippocampus and your amygdala are used to just reacting to that. So that keeps happening and it becomes a, an addiction. Your body becomes addicted to that adrenaline. So it's a pattern that we are not even conscious of. It just happens. And that's why it's so important to break the pattern. And that's why breaking the pattern happens the beginning, the first is the breath. And I'm not only talking about when you heard the bad news of something going on and you're like, okay, now I might, it's my time to breathe because I want to die right now. You're kind of too late. <laughs> you're kind of too late, guys. It has to come before. It has to come since the moment you wake up. Remind yourself. Your mind is going crazy to a thousand kilometers and now. Okay, thank you so much. 
Thank you for reminding me all the possibilities of today. All right. Let me have a five minutes contemplation, meditation, journaling, whatever I need. But breathe consciously. Take your time to breathe deep and rewire your body, your nervous system that you're doing naturally like driving a car. Your body is your car. Teach your body, teach your car, teach this wild animal that's the body how to live in the highest way possible. If you're a Ferrari, act like a Ferrari. You're not a Volkswagen from the 70s, which are great. They're amazing. I love them. One of my dreams is to have a big truck, Volkswagen, and do it with a bed and do it the old way. That's one of my dreams. But I know it's a Volkswagen and I know what to expect from that. But you have a machine with you that's not even a Ferrari. It's a jet. It's a spaceship. <laughs> Once you get to know how to activate the energetic fields and how to play with dimensions, it's a spaceship. Okay, there's so much you can do through your nervous system, through your mind, through your body. There's so much available to you. But let's start with the first steps. How to transform the stress response into manifestation. And that comes through the breath. Okay? So this breath is basic. Now I'm going to teach you another one, which you've done many times, but I'm sure you don't practice as much. Okay? So... Let's do it together. You inhale, one, two, three, four. You exhale, one, two, three, four. And hold your exhalation, one, two, three, four. In, two, three, four. Out, two, three, four. Hold. Two, three, four. In, two, three, four. Out, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. It's box breathing, but it's not, Margaret, because I'm not holding the inhalation. Once I'm holding the inhalation, I'm activating my sympathetic nervous system. And, and that's, that's, that helps, but this is the next level. You just activate your parasympathetic nervous system. So you're inhaling, not holding the inhalation. Exhaling, not holding. I mean, exhaling, holding the exhalation, okay? And you can hold it four, you can hold it six, you can hold it eight, eight or ten. But you don't want to come to this place that you hold it and then you're like... Yes, I hold it for 12, but then you had to breathe very harsh. You want sweet, loving breath, okay? That's the basics of regenerating your nervous system, of start building this resilience, all right? There's, there's a lot of other things that I'm going to share with you also, to whoever wants to go deeper. There's so many tools, but I just want you guys to, to have these tools and I want to keep going, okay? How are you guys doing with this? Yay, I see all these people saying, I'm a Bugatti, I'm a Lamborghini, I'm a Jet, I'm, a <laughs> I'm an Ashton Martin. <laughs> you can be whatever you want, but be it. Don't act as you are something you're not. Stop playing small. Own it. Own your inner kingdom. Own who you are. Claim your sovereignty. Claim your inner power. It's the time. The time is now. Let's stop playing something we're not. Right? Salute for that. Guys, if you haven't shared this, I invite you to share this with the world. Share this with your people if you can. It really helps spread consciousness. This is the way. Just like, hey, check this crazy guy out. It may help you, you know, come out of stress, you know, understand what's going on. <laughs> Why not? You can help people that way, right? You can tag people. You can share the Facebook Live. Why not? Like, I'm sharing 
just to share with you guys and help you out, why not do it yourself, right? It helps, if you feel to, of course. So guys, let's go to the third one. Um, it's very important to train yourself to be in contact with nature, okay? Nature has a frequency, has a vibration. That's the vibration of the heart, the energetic heart. And this is when you want to live your life. You know when you're in the moment where like, it just feels good. You're, you're in peace with yourself. You're in peace with life. You're, you actually love life. It's just the love for life, but it's not because because you have a car, it's not because you have a house, it's not because you have the partner of your dreams, it's not because you just ate the best meal ever, it's not because you were born in Czechoslovakia. Like, there's not an external reason. You just are. That's the bless of I am, okay? And it's our natural state, okay? So, um, this is a frequency we can tap into. It's the frequency of the heart. And once we have that heart coherency, and we united with the brain coherency that is what I'm teaching you, right? Talking about and working with brain waves and all that. And we're going to go deeper into that. There's so much to talk about around that. But, but once you synchronize those together, that's what we call the electromagnetic frequency. And that is the energy that you're emanating out to manifest. If you're in a place of protecting yourself, not feeling safe, feeling uncertain, feeling foggy, feeling distracted, feeling all over the place, procrastinating yourself when you, when you know there's something you can do, when you have so much potential, but you're not using it, when you're getting kind of lost and being a dog biting its own tail, all those stories, right? When you're running on beliefs and always repeating the same beliefs and you don't get up of those patterns, you are always in the same frequency. And it's the, the frequency of the past. It's the frequency of the beta brainwave that it's a very altered mind, the brain frequency that creates um, tension and a survival mode in your body. You're always like protecting yourself. Ah, oh, wait, I can't trust. I can't trust this person. I can't trust this situation. I can't trust. I don't relax. I don't allow, I don't surrender. I'm always, this is very unconscious. It's not that you, someone comes and you're like, Whoa! you can even be smiling, you can be happy, you can be, but deep inside you're like, mm, right? And I'm not talking about not having that, not being malicious, right? Not, not being too naive. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about being in that place of, okay, I can observe, but I can open myself, I can feel safe, I can trust. There's a trust in life, beyond the person. You trust in life, you're trusting that life is guiding you, you're trusting that the universe is, is guiding you, and you're building that trust day by day. But once you've built that inner resiliency, you teach your body how to do this, right? That's when you start seeing the results. And one of the ways to teach your body, your nervous system, is being a lot in nature with that intention. Go to a park, go to an ocean, go to a bamboo forest, go where, whatever you have around you, just beside, a, just beside a tree to hear the leaves. Anything that's creating a certain frequency, a certain vibration, be in silence, listen to it, feel it, and journal on it. Just see how your mind starts purging whatever is not aligned to that natural vibration. It's the 528 frequency. It's the frequency that you can measure. It's the frequency of the heart. Nature is vibrating usually in that frequency. You're allowing it to come in and to clear whatever needs to be cleared from your unconscious mind. But it's good to have a journal. It's good to clear it out. Right? Until you start rewiring it. So I recommend... In those moments, instead of reacting, take your time, go for a walk, breathe, be in nature. Cultivate being in nature every day, especially when you feel like reacting and writing that email back. You feel like sending that message that then you're going to not feel very good about. You feel to tell something to someone from a place that maybe they're not going to receive it because you're very angry or you're, you're not vibrating in the highest, right? 
you, it's not going to be something that's going to build. So why not nurture relationships that are building safety and trust between us, love between us, right? But that relationship starts with ourself. It's our relationship with ourselves, how we talk to ourselves, how we live our lives, what we think, what we feel, what we allow ourselves to be in, what we tolerate in our lives. It's like, I'm done. I'm done with being on the couch and watching TV. I'm done. This is just killing me. I need to get up and go for a walk and, 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 and hug a tree or go for a run or just, I just need to move. I need to breathe. I'm done. Like you got to take yourself out. <laughs> There's no other way or you're in bed and you, you don't even feel inspired to come out. And it's like, stop nurturing that. Just get up. Get up, turn on the cold shower, have a cold shower and then sit down and contemplate and write down on your journal. Be present five minutes. Start visualize how your day is going to be. Start teaching your mind that you are the powerhouse. Your crazy mind is not the powerhouse telling you how life is going to be and how horrible today and how hard, what a hard day and how challenging that is. That's old patterns. Start being the master of the house. You guys... You guys with me? It says it's trying to reconnect for some reason. Let me know if you're with me, please. Yeah, okay, you're with me. You can listen to me. Okay. Right? So you start you, you start coming out of that slowly, you start teaching yourselves to come out of those patterns. In the moment, it's being aware in the moment, not letting yourself be carried. And then the stress response is so big that you're overwhelmed, right? The stress response is so big that your nervous system is like a, like a glass of water that's filled with water all the time. So what's going to happen? A little drop comes in. Oh my God. Oh no. Did you see what happened? Oh my God. Now what? You see? But if you clear your glass and there's no water in the glass, you can take as much water as it comes, you're going to hold it. That's resilience. You have that capacity to hold. That's the real resilience. The resilience is not mental toughness. Bullshit. That doesn't work. That's going to kill you. It's going to kill your emotions, and it's not going to help you use that energy for real transformation. I'm talking about the inner resilience that you build with time, that you cultivate. You start emptying your cup. So once all the stress responses that come during the day that we all have, for some reason, they're always going to be there. They don't affect you anymore. You're not a feather that's taken by the wind anymore. No, you are in the eye of the tornado, in the eye of the hurricane. All right? So nature helps a lot. Journaling, grounding. And I know many of you know this, but I'm reminding you and I'm reminding myself. Because I also get lost sometimes. I'm not saying I'm perfect, right? We're on this together, guys. And that's why I do these things. Because that's reminding Kwampa to wake up. <laughs> We're all waking up together to our full potential, okay? <laughs> okay. So. And then the fourth, I'm going to go back to what I was saying. This is the most important. Build your inner resilience. you got to build it up. Yeah, and you build it through your breath. You build it through when you're doing fitness or any movement, any exercise, not killing yourself, not going to a place that then you don't have energy the whole time, learning how to navigate energy. So it's learning how to give the right stress response to the nervous system, just the right stimuli, and then you bring it down. Yes, and then you do any calming breath, right? that can really bring down that parasympathetic response and then you hit it up again. So you start playing with sympathetic, parasympathetic. Yeah? Action and no action. Hmm? Yes? Giving and receiving. Full on energy, 
relaxing and enjoying. You start teaching your body, your mind, your emotions, your energy that you can play with all these states without being affected by them. You become the master of your temple by building this inner resiliency. But guys, to really build it, to really go deep, and I know many of you are good just with what I'm talking about, but if you really feel called to know more, and, and, and then, then stay with me because I'm going to go deeper into this. This is not just like, okay, let me do some breaths and then I'll do it. Like It takes much deeper work to go and rewire the amygdala and the hippocampus and the whole nervous system. You got to know how to dig in there and go into those parts of the brain that are so protected. When they're protected and they're like guarding, you can't touch them. You can't, uh, uh, you can't get there. You can calm yourself down, but you're not resetting them. So we need to go deep, learn how to reset them, learn how to reset the whole nervous system. Because you know what happens if you don't do that? Once you want to achieve a goal, you want to manifest something, you're going to come from a place of pushing, hustling, trying too hard, burning yourself down instead of really allowing it to come through you. Instead of really allowing it to expand Instead of really allowing yourself to listen to your intuition, to your creativity, to who you really are, to your deepest truth, and not get lost in all this nonsense that is sometimes on the mind, in that heaviness, in that fogginess, where there's so many clouds that we can't see the sun. Are you guys with me? It's very interesting. That's the real inner resilience, right? And once we really go and learn how to do this, then what's happening to your nervous system is that you're not there anymore. Um, when you're in survival mode, your energy is just used to protect yourself and run away if you need to run away, right? You can't really rest much. You can't really be relaxed and be enjoying, really enjoying life. You can't be like really tapped into your creativity. You're not in a manifestation mode. You're in a survival mode, all right? And how we bring that down is entering those parts of the nervous system, those parts of the brain that have their own technology and their own way to do it. Once you understand it and you, do, you use the right inner technologies, you can completely build it up, okay? And cultivate it from within. So, this is uh, very important. I just wanted to read something with you. Um, what, how, how uh, uh, people have called resiliency. They call it mental toughness. They call it withstand adversity and bounce back from live difficult live events. They call it, it is the mental reservoir of strength that people are able to call on in, in times of need to carry them through without falling apart. Yes, I'm more into that. Is that inner strength. That inner strength that you build at a cellular level. You become that avatar. Right? It's beyond being a warrior. It's be being an avatar. Being so present. Being there, present in all dimensions. Being able to observe. Being able to really tap into your creativity. Even in the hardest situations. Even in the most challenging situations. Right? It's so beautiful when you start. But there's a lot of principles of cultivating this cellular energy. You know? There's a lot of principles of really getting away from this like overwhelmed and foggy mind and doubt and fear and negative emotions and all these things that are disturbing us. Because all of this is coming from a what we call a leaky brain. Most of us, I would say all of humanity, if we haven't really worked on ourselves and you haven't really let go of all the oils that usually we all take that are vegetable oils and fried stuff and all that stuff that's rancid and acid, all those oils and so much stress and so many chemicals in the body, they start not only creating a leaky gut, it starts also creating a leaky brain. And what happens is that your, your brain is actually leaking and leaking this substance that becomes toxic. 
for your brain. So the neuroplasticity, the neuroscience, the quantum science happening in your brain and all the possibilities that you have for it to expand to new ideas, to more energy, to more flow, to real resilience, it's being fogged by this chemical. Do you see? So it's not just a mental thing. We got to learn how to reset this from the core, guys. It's a whole science and art, right? And it takes some time. I can't just share with you just on, an, on, on this activation, uh, on this, 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 this workshop we're doing. It takes more time. Like, if you want to go deeper on this, I will be sharing a workshop, a two-hour workshop, maybe two hours and a half. It depends because I get very, very inspired. Where we will be not only going deep, into this philosophy and understanding how to work it through the body, how to enter the amygdala, how to enter the hippocampus, how to reset the nervous system, how to understand that, and how to practice it so you can build resilience every day. And you can become a rock, a mountain, solid, strong, grounded, in your center, connected to your essence, to your highest self, to the highest version of you, so you can act from that space instead of reacting. Yeah? And this is something you, many of you have asked me to, Quampa, when are you going to do a course? When are you going to share? It's been a year and a half. I'm not doing a live course. You know this, right? I've been only sharing stuff that I've already recorded online, which is good stuff. But this is the latest that I've been working on that last 1.5 years right, that I haven't shared. I've been building all this, exploring, experimenting, seeing the most advanced science, the most advanced technologies. And now, after 1.5 years, I am ready to share it with you. I love to share it with you. So if you are interested in, in going deeper into this workshop, I invite you to, char to write down resilience, inner resilience. And I, I can send you... Um, uh, the information, the team can send you the information of this workshop. You're going you're gonna to see the whole information and you're going to fill it out if it's worth for you to do it or not. But know that it's the next step to what we're talking about. It's like really surrendering to the process of biohacking your nervous system at a cellular level, understanding how the cell works. What is mitochondrial dysfunction? Mitochondria is the one that creates energy. How can you become a cultivating energy machine? How can you have so much inspiration as you've never had before? So much creativity. So much that you don't know what to do with it. you got to order it. That's where I'm at right now. I have so many ideas. I have so many projects. I have so many companies. Guys, it's crazy. If I don't build that inner resilience, I would go crazy. Now I'm able to celebrate it and look at it. But there's so many possibilities for me right now and i'm in a place to observe them and make the right the right choices right so this is going to start like in 15 days um and it's a very profound course guys it's all live um there's nothing recorded there's just like a, a meditation that i'm giving as a bonus and i'm giving a bonus also biohacks for sleeping because sleeping is super important for, for the parasympathetic nervous system and very few people talk about it. So I'm going to be talking about how to really measure if you're sleeping correctly, if you're really regenerating yourself while you sleep, if you're really charging yourselves. Because being in bed at eight hours doesn't mean you're sleeping REM. You're going deep to detoxify your brain. It doesn't mean I'm going to teach you and show you how to really do that, how to measure that, and how to know if that's where you're at or if you can make it better. So how, biohacking your sleep, I'm going to be sharing that bonus soon, how to share with the sleep and how to take it to the next level. Deep relaxation also. There's going to be a bonus on deep relaxation you can practice anytime, anywhere. So you're going to have all these bonuses that are pre-recorded, but you're going to have me live on philosophy way deeper than we're here. We're just touching the surface. You know how I am, right? We're going to go super deep, give you all the biohacks you need and give you all the tools you need. We're going to practice together. We're going to go deep for an hour activation together. You know what that means, right? Deep. Get ready for breath. Get ready for movement. Get ready for activating the energy in your, in your body and feeling more alive and awake than you ever felt before. 
Yeah, it's deep, guys. So this is all happening um, in 15 days. So yeah, if you want to be part of this, if you want to uh, go deeper into all these themes, if you're interested, please just write um, Inner Resilience. If you have any questions, also let me know, guys. Um, Daria, I'm on sleeping pills for years. Daria, I, I, I started taking sleeping pills like 10 years ago because I, I had so much energy. I didn't know what to do with it. And I didn't know it was an, an imbalance in my nervous system. That's when I started the journey into really regenerating my nervous system, recovering my nervous system, recovering at a cellular level. And I don't drink any sleeping pills or anything anymore. Maybe take some CBD, maybe take some magnesium basics and I sleep as best I've ever slept before my score my sleeping score is like 96 98 94 sometimes 90 you know if if I had too much going on that's a really good score 90 out of 100 you know there's ways to build this so really you can use those times in the best way possible and you wake up regenerated you wake up fully focused, fully connected, fully tapped into what's next. It's very beautiful. Anything else you want to share, guys? Let me see if there's anything here. Can you save it after you do the workshop? And Can you save it after you do it, the workshop and the bonus? Yeah, you have uh, access to the workshop forever. Neil Sanjil, uh, everything I share, you have it available for you forever. I don't I don't take it with me. It's for you guys. You have access to it forever. Yeah. Inner resilience. Yeah, I see a lot of inner resilience. Beautiful, guys. We're going to have a beautiful group, I know, because we always go so deep. And they, the, the right people show in the right way. Yeah. Oh, I, I'm seeing amazing people here uh, writing down so much here inner resilience yes yes yeah you can try cbd you can try magnesiums you can try but if you don't reset your nervous system again it's just an anesthesia you're putting on i do it as like the cherry on top because i've done the work inside right of really building my nervous system so then it's just like a cherry on top but if you depend on those things from the outside you're never gonna heal this to the core you're always gonna be depending on the same thing right Yeah, guys. Yes, any other questions you guys have with this? But just let's just go over the, the, the workshop we had today. Cultivate the observing. Observe the one that observes, right? The one that has awareness. Number two, remember the breath all the time. Remember the breath to calm down the nervous system. Very basic, but very deep. That can really help you, right? Be aware of your thoughts, of your emotions. What are you feeling what emotions are you feeding? What thoughts are you feeding? What stories are you feeding that are not your truth? You know it. Don't play small. You know it. Okay? And then, um, time in nature. Take time to contemplate. Take time to journal. Take time to feel the vibration, the frequency that nature is at. And let nature help you enter that vibration just by being there, breathing soft and gentle and receiving the calmness, the harmony of nature, right? Yeah. And number four, building that inner resilience, right? So that's my question for you guys. Like, why wait for something daily to happen that pushes you to the limit that you have to build that inner resilience? Why wait till the fire is so big that now you have to put it off, but you don't even have enough water to put it off? Why wait till something happens outside that forces you to really take care of yourself and really find ways that can help you when you can do that right now when you can build that right now when you can really understand how this machine works how this brain works how your nervous system works and how you can deal with this in a conscious way so you can use stress for manifestation right instead of being used by stress you see the beauty? It's, it's so amazing once you tap into it. You have infinite possibilities available. 
I have been monitoring my sleep, says Jerry. That's so good, brother. Yes, that's amazing. You also talk, uh, you also workshop with Regan. Uh, yes, this workshop is not with Regan, but yes, we are going to be doing uh, workshops later. For now, um, she's working on other themes. I'm working on these themes. It's a moment that we are cultivating this inner calling separately, but we love doing courses together. So at some point we will be doing a course, but right now uh, there's uh, this course is coming through. I, I stopped all supplements after embodying quantum flow fully. Beautiful, Margaret. That's the way to really feel that you're doing the real work. And that's, that's what happens with quantum flow. And this is what I'm going to be sharing. I'm going to be sharing quantum flow and all the methodologies, all the technologies. You can look at all the information. It's going to be deep. And all based on this. So it's not the typical quantum flow I've shared before. It, it has a different approach because it works in different neural pathways that we haven't worked before. And that's the advantage. People that have done quantum flow will get a lot into this. They will rewire other parts of the brain. They will rewire other parts of the nervous system because we haven't reset those parts before. We haven't used those technologies before. So that's the beauty of it. And that's what quantum flow creates. It's exactly that. You stop depending on the outside world. You stop depending on anything or anyone outside of you. Once you understand the method, once you know how to work with it, once you have all the tools, you're there. You're the captain of the boat. And who's guiding you is spirit, right? It's not even a teacher. It's not even a certain leader here or there. You have leaders that inspire you, of course. I get inspired by a lot of people, but I don't depend on them. I'm always tapped into my inner energy, to my inner wisdom, to my inner resilience. I'm not depending on someone to give me a, a candy or tell me I'm good or approve me or show me the way, right? I let go of that a long time ago, right? And that's the beauty with quantum flow. You build that. You build that at a cellular level. And then you can share it with the world if you want to. So if you're interested in going in this workshop, guys, please just comment um, inner resilience. If you have all those kinds of symptoms, like you have fogginess, forgetfulness, you don't, you don't feel you have a good memory, you don't feel you can focus, you get distracted easily, you get uh, overwhelmed or anxious or fearful easily, you feel uh, you wanna, you, you, you're trying to manifest so much but you're not being able to manifest because there's all these limiting beliefs holding you back and you don't know how to access them, you can't really relax, um, 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 you're kind of reacting very easily to life and feeling like life is hard. Um, you are uh, maybe very self-critic, very judgmental with yourself or others. Any of this can be a symptom that there's some work to do in your nervous system. So it's something that you want to change. If it's something that you want to go deeper and you're like, okay, I'm kind of done with that behavior. I'm ready for the next step. Then I invite you to join us in this course. Yeah? This course, it's all about biocharging the cells. Yes, it's about really that biocharge. is the cell that gets charged through life energy and learning to do that, becoming an energy machine, right? That's what this course is about, building that inner resilience in order to thrive, right? So recharging to thrive is the course. That's how it's called. We're recharging ourselves. We're recharging the cells, to thrive, okay? So if you're interested in that, just write with Inner Resilience and we can totally um, send you the information and go deep together, okay? I think this is more or less what I wanted to talk about. We're gonna be working with the uh, poor vagal tone, which is something that happens a lot. There's poor vagal tone, very low, uh, um, um, energy, and potential in the vagus nerve, which is the nerve that really is the one that's in charge of manifestation. The vagus nerve is the one that really makes you be in that space of like, life is beautiful. I am perfect the way I am. I feel so good with myself. I love life. I love everyone. I love everything. Like you're that space, not a woo-woo space, a space of integrity. It's like, Inner love cultivation, you know? You really love yourself for who you are, not because of what you're doing. It's very beautiful, deep, cultivated vibration more than a feeling, right? 
And that comes with time. There's a whole way to reset the vagal, the vagus nerve also. So, so yes, guys, there's so much to go into. There's so much I can share if you want to go deeper into this. Let me know if you have any other questions or around the, the, the workshop we just did or around, um, around uh, the workshop we are going to do whatever i love essential oils yes that's essential oils lavender helps a lot chamomile helps a lot yes there's a lot you can do that really helps right but again it's that's also just a way to anesthetize right you're kind of curing the symptoms right kind of numbing the symptoms but you're not getting to the core of it why this is happening to you all the time so I became an essential oil addict. I used to like, I couldn't live without my essential oils. Everywhere I went, and then anything happened, putting it here, putting it everywhere, you know, the points you know, right? If you know about essential oils, you know what I'm talking about. I used to be that. And then I'm like, okay, uh, that's great. I still use them, but I, I can't depend on them. Like, what's going on? Like, what's really creating everything? I want to go to the core of it all. And that's a possibility we all have. Yeah. Okay, I've been doing so much inner work that I'm sleeping deeper and longer lately. That's good, BB. So happy for you. Mary says, so excited. Margaret says, so exciting. Yes, I am very exciting, guys. This is what's really pumping me up because there's so much, so much and so much science behind this. You're going to go nuts. I'm telling you. It's, 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 it's crazy. All the information that we have no idea. The biophotonic energy that's cultivated in the cell and how to expand it. It's just beyond what we can even imagine. It's so beautiful and it's all backed up by science. So yes, I am my archi the architect of my life. Beautiful Maria, self-mastery. Yes, Margaret. Carla says, signed up. Yay, see you soon, Carla. Nice, Angela, I can't wait. I make sure every day I work in a better version of myself. Yes, me too. We're in the same team. Usually the people on this tribe are, are all in the same team. Sandra, yes, so good to have you. Mm. Margaret says, quantum flow makes me feel like a freight train can be charging at me and I, my state of being is like, come at me, I'm chill. Yeah, that's inner resilience, mama. Every course I have taken with you has been magnificent. Oh, thank you, Nisangel. Thank you. Thank you for trusting and, and going deep. Feeling fried up right now. I love how much this has resonated. Oh, that's so good. I mean, fired up. I'm like, no, not, not fried up. <laughs> fired up. That's good. I'm fired up too. Juan, all of that you mentioned, I don't think life is hard anymore though. Yeah, it's not hard. We make it hard because of our mindset and because our nervous system, the, the, the glass is full. So if the glass is full, a drop comes in and it becomes hard. But if you know how to empty the glass, if you know how to heal your nervous system, if you know how to release your nervous system, life is not hard anymore. It's just like there's challenges. Challenges come. And actually, how can I do that? One challenge into 10 opportunities. You build that. Guys, it happens. It's so beautiful. You become so strong, so open, so receptive, so available that just... Life is flowing through you. It's not against you. It's supporting you. <laughs> Jerry says, I just signed up for the course. Yes, Jerry. We'll see you soon, man. Margaret, Vegas Nerve is the maestro to it all. Yes, you got it. Andre Clement, Inner Resilience. Yes, come join us. Ah, uh, Thank you for sharing your wisdom and your magnetic energy. Oh, thank you, Anael, for this vortex we all create together i love when we go deep it's so beautiful thank you elena thank you natalia yes the team will get back to you don't worry uh always ready to go deeper i know adam i know you're so committed maria elizabeth scroll up and click on someone else's link <laughs> you guys are desperate you have 15 days it's okay but really know that this price is is done for you the price that's there it's not the real price. That price is going to go up. That's not the real price that's going to be. You, you guys know that my courses don't have those prices, right? But since you guys are here and you've been doing the workshop and you're listening to the replay, I'm going to give you some days to enroll now 
and to really make the best and, 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 and have this initial price, but the, the price is gonna go up. You know all the courses I do are the same. And this is why, because we wanna invite people to commit, to be into it, to say yes to it, and to, you know, there's, there's a reward for that. There's a reward for commitment. I feel that. It's so important we do it with ourselves. I do it with myself. And it's so important you, you guys, I do it with you guys and you guys do it with your students. It's so important, guys, because you start like, that's so good, I'm committed. That's so good, Juanpa, you're doing it. That's so good, you're going deeper than your comfort zone. That's so good, Juanpa. It's a way to say yes and nurture that part of you. That's the only way to go to the deeper layers so you can really start manifesting the life of your dreams. Guys, there's no other way. The rest is woo-woo. You gotta do the work. It's not gonna come alone. <laughs> the rest is woo-woo, you know? Juanpa, is it to do it together with my daughter? Of course, you can do it together with your daughter. I'd love to have your daughter. Ready to dive deep? I know, Margaret, you're always ready. Fantastic, I'm in, and there are exactly 14 days till then to go through the immersion again as a preparation. Oh, that's a great idea, Silke. I love that. Nicola, I have locked up spine and turned on adrenals because of this. I am suffering with spasms all over my body all the time. Would you help me release this? This will help you so much. Nicola, why? Because your adrenal glands are on fire. This is on your nervous system, which is affecting your nervous system on the spine. And this can lock your spine, can really affect and burn down your adrenal glands. You got to stop this as soon as possible. That's my advice. You can ask a doctor, you can ask a specialist on adrenal glands and, 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 and on burnout uh, and they'll tell you the same thing. I've been specializing on this the last five years because I got burned out, really burned out. Yeah, and I almost got burned out two years ago again in a different way, but I had so much going on, so many possibilities happening in my life, you know? I got crazy, yeah? I got overwhelmed, which hadn't happened to me in years. So I can tell you, you're on the way to burn out. Right? Any of these symptoms is just the beginning of a burnout. If you don't take care of yourself, you could have that, which it's harder to come back. You can do it. I work with a lot of people with burnout, but it takes more time and energy. So I would recommend why not now, right? Why wait? Thank you. See you in the workshop, Lisa. Yes, we'll see you soon, Mama. Do you have the theory on paper? I don't have the theory on paper, Noel. Um, this is going to be a live transmission. It's all structured, the workshop is done, but I haven't uh, written a paper yet. That will be written after the workshop is uh, done. We will do a PDF, we will do it super in order, in structure, so you guys can have everything for you guys to apply in your daily li life. That's how I'm working right now. I'm just working with tools that can support you uh, every time we do a live workshop or anything, I'll give you the tools also so you can have it with you and you can look at it every day and you don't have to come and watch the, watch the video every time, which that helps too, but you don't have to do it, right? Okay, can't wait for this new workshop. Mary just uh, paid. That's so beautiful, guys. I know, we're going to have so much fun. Quantum immersion and certification, that's so beautiful, Anel. This is gonna help you really understand quantum flow to a different level. Sending you love back, Jane. Thank you for being here. Always a wealth of the wisdom. Thank you, guys. Carla, inner resilience. Just change the glass, ha, ha, ha. Just change the glass. Okay, that's a good idea. Change the glass. Right? So you got a full glass, right? And then you're like, oh my God, okay, now what do you gotta do? You gotta empty the glass, and now you have an empty glass. You can't change it if you have the liquid, right? Once you have an empty glass, you can upgrade your glass, which is your nervous system, which is your brain, to a one that has more capacity, okay? That's the work that we're doing. We're always opening our capacity to receive energy, our capacity to manifest, our capacity to be open and receptive to new ideas to new beginnings, okay? Okay. Make lemonade in that glass, yes. <laughs> Resilience, yes guys, if you're just jumping in, uh, you can watch the replay 
I was just talking about all the stress response and how to really transform challenge into opportunities. I gave all the science of it and we're doing a workshop to go deeper into all these concepts um, in 15 days. And I'm going to give a five day, more or less five day uh, time for people to enroll with the price that it's at, with each, which is an amazing price for what you're going to get. And then it's gonna go up. So if you're interested, just just check on the link uh, or let us or comment below with inner resilience, and we'll send you the the um, information. Okay, guys, this is so good. The more knowledge you get with your wisdom, the more you can serve others. Yes, I agree. Can you? Good idea, 14-day immersion beforehand. You guys are going crazy on this chat. Oh my God. I have got long COVID. Is that workshop okay for me in February? Noel, that workshop is, you know where immune system gets messed up? Because of the nervous system. Once you reset your nervous system, guys, I haven't got sick in 20 years. I have got COVID two times. But you can ask Regan. It's minimum. I don't even go to bed. I, I know it's there. I know it's in my body. It's my natural vaccine. It's there, but it doesn't, it doesn't take me to bed. My immune system is so strong because I built it. I wasn't born with it. I used to get sick all the time. I've built my immune system. And that's what I want to teach you with all these workshops, guys. That's what it's all about. So don't worry about it, Noel. It's the best for you. Okay. Okay, guys. Uh, any other questions? So good to share with you all. Let's do a breath together, guys. Let's feel this energy. Feel this energy together again since we're all here. Oh, so many people commenting with inner resilience now. I guess the message goes after, right? We're all in, in different times. So thank you all for being here. I love your comments. I love your energy. Let's seal these teachings together with a breath. Everything we went over. Now you understand your nervous system. Now you have tools to do this. Now I'm going to... Uh, guide you through a little breath together, okay? You want to activate this together? Yes? If you're watching the replay, say, yes, I'm doing the activation. I want to hear you guys because I always come and watch the replays. I'm always very present with you guys. I love your interaction. I love your presence. I love when you share the videos. I love when you bring people in and you tag them in. I love when you, you participate and you bring more energy. You know what gives me? To give you more free stuff to share more stuff for you, to help you in more ways. Because I feel like I'm being received. If I don't feel I'm being received, it's like, okay, I can put my energy somewhere else. You know what I mean? It, it feels good, this call and response, right? So let's breathe together, guys. Let's feel all this information. We've gone over it already. And just connect with it, knowing that we can build that inner resilience inside of us and that we can release through the breath whatever's holding us back from living that life from that inner power that comes from our core, from our soul, from our essence, from the highest version of ourselves, right? Let's do it. Deep breath, nose, exhale through the mouth. Welcome, Caroline, join through the breath, your right moment, right timing. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Hey, Sibyl, welcome. Keep going. Let your nervous system, you can work through it. Let your nervous system know you are the alchemist. You are opening and releasing. You are building that inner resilience. Keep going, guys. Keep breathing. You can go faster, but keep breathing deep through your nose and exhaling through your mouth. Relax even more in the exhalation. Let your body relax. Ah, 
seven more. Keep going, guys. You've got this. Come on. Let's feel each other. We're breathing together right now. Three more. One more. Sweet breath through your nose. Exhale very gently. Inhale very gently through your nose, as gentle and slow and soft as you can. Feel the energy flowing through your body. Exhale. Longer inhalation, longer soft inhalation. Exhale very gently. Relax your shoulders, your face, your jaw, and stay in that exhalation. Don't inhale. Stay there, guys. Stay there. No inhalation. Relax your jaw, your neck, your shoulders, your head, your facial muscles, even the muscles around your brain, even your brain. Relax everything. Hold it. Hold it. Don't push it too much. Just enough. When you feel to breathe, Inhale very gently through your nose. Hold it. Don't squeeze. Just hold it. Don't squeeze. Now breathe through your mouth. Hold it. Don't squeeze. Just feel that space opening inside of you. Relax. I am peace. I am love. I am energy. I am a manifester. I am here to thrive. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So much gratitude. Exhale with the sound. Ah, just relax into it. Just enjoy this state. Tap into your thymus gland, tap into your heart. Ah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Invoking heart coherency, invoking to live in my heart to live my life from love, from intuition, from creativity, from my inner genius, from being open and receptive. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I choose to live from my heart. Deep breath. Mouth. Expand it. Feel that balloon expanding inside of you. Relax yourself. Feel every cell of your body with energy. Exhale with the sound. Ah. Relax your arms, relax your face, relax your shoulders. Ah, oh, so good. Thank you, thank you, thank you all. Uh, it was a short, sweet activation together. Thank you all for sharing this space. Thank you for inspiring me to coming live and doing this together. Thank you for committing to going deeper. I am here to hold space for you. I am here to share with you everything I can to help you thrive in your lives. You know how committed I am. I'm always here for you. Thank you all so, so, so much. Again, I invite you to tag people to bring people in, to share this with your community, whatever way you wanna share this, share this love, share this connection, share this community, because we are a community. This is not about Juanpa. We create this energy together. Thank you all so much. Muchas gracias, familia. Muchas gracias. Te amo tanto. I love you so much. Te amo tanto. Ah. Desde mi corazón hacia tu corazón. Un solo corazón. From my heart to your heart. One heart. Thank you, family. Please thank all the family, all the beings that have been part of this, that have created this together. Again, we are a family thriving here. Thank you all. Mucho amor. Boom.